Hello kids, today we will be doing a beautiful scenery painting. For this, the materials that you would need today are one flat brush, any type or any size, and then two round brushes, one you need of a larger size and one very thin, say around a uh, size two, two types of round brushes. And the colors that you would need are, one is light blue, teal blue, skin shade, a little amount of brown, black, green pink and some white okay these are the colors that you would need so to begin with the painting take a flat brush make sure that it is kind of a little wet then take the light blue before starting this what you have to do is take your paper uh, and tape it on the side and then uh, make sure that you use a masking tape just above the center line of the paper or the canvas this is my center line so i've just placed it above it so, so that you get a sharp line here in the midline. Now, for, to start with, we'll take light blue and then paint from the top of the paper in the strokes from left to right or right to left in this way. So, after the brush goes dry, we'll take white the same brush and start blending it start blending it towards the upper side okay so you can see that it is blending beautifully now again we'll take some more amount of white and paint it here at the bottom If you want, you can add a little more amount of blue. Or if you're satisfied, that is fine if you don't use also. But I would like to have a little more blue as it is sky in between. Yeah. So we are done with the sky. So we'll wait for some time so that it dries off and the paint doesn't come out with the tape. So we'll just wait for a minute to dry and then remove the tape. So now as it is almost dried, I'll just peel off this masking tape carefully in this fashion. Okay. So yeah, if you want, you can place this on the top so that you have again a very crisp line, but it is not necessary. So yeah. Again, we'll take another flat brush or the same of brush wash and then use this teal blue shade. Make sure you make your brush wet and wipe off the excess water and then use the brush. Then we'll take teal blue and start painting from here. And maintain this line. So we will go in the same stroke as we did above for the sky. Okay. So when we are done with this uh, basic line outline of the beach, we will continue painting the same fashion as we did for the sky. The stroke from right to left to right, left to right. Now at the bottom, to just give a wavy look, I will just go curve like this and then a curve upside. Okay, U and then go up. So just fill this off. Now in the same brush, I will take white and then blend it here in the same fashion like this go in a smoother stroke yeah just blend this a little and then give strokes like this from here and here like a wave now we'll take some more amount of white and then do the border
here after we are done with this water now we will just mix little amount of brown and skin shade to get the sand color so yeah and then just fill it up here Now we will draw the bird. So before you draw the bird, make sure your paint is dry, completely dry. Now we will start uh, by drawing two. Okay. So draw a two with this uh, middle line, a little longer. So yeah. Now instead of going straight, we will just make it a little curve. Okay. Now we will give a curvy round head. And then follow this same line parallelly down like this a little longer than this diagonally and now we we'll just bulge it in the form of U and then uh, at the end we we'll just go up and then down and then join this both irregular okay this is for the body of the bird and then for the beak we we'll just draw a slanting line then again or like a cone and then just a V pointed downward and one I dot for the legs I will draw a straight line one line slanted towards the right and then again going inwards ok this is how we draw the bird now we will take a round brush just wet it wipe off the excess water take the pink shade and fill it so we will go along with the lines that we have drawn We just need to fill the color just with the round brushes it helps you to get the easy outline and the color filling in a smoother way just fill it as, it, as the shape of the bird is drawn after filling it make sure you uh, may give uh, one or two coats so that the background color is not seen in the bird body much and then for the ending after you're filling take a little amount of white and mix it with the pink so you can do that and fill the skin shade here for the beak, I have just filled the uh, space of where we had drawn with black and then just a round dot with black. And then the straight light leg, just uh, make a circular dot in the center of the knee. And you also center and just paint it black for the leg. So, this, uh, so your painting is complete now. I will just show you the final look. So this is the final look of the painting. I hope you enjoyed kids. So see you in the next session.